Hi everybody, it's Dr. Sam, and I received a question on Facebook. This was a lady who's 32 years old, and she's contemplating getting LASIK surgery. So I want to talk about a study that was done by the FDA, and it was published in the Journal of American uh, Medical Ophthalmology. And in that study, they found that over 40% of the people that had LASIK surgery had complaints of dry eye, double vision, starbursts, and glare uh, between three months and six months after having the LASIK surgery. Also in that study, about one in four people were dissatisfied with the results of LASIK surgery. So in terms of you know, getting that done to reduce your myopia and astigmatism, <clears throat> there are definitely things you wanna know if you're gonna go ahead and uh, get this procedure done. So there are three main points I want to make about LASIK surgery if you're going to get it. Number one, you want to make sure that you correct both eyes for distance. You don't want to correct one eye for distance and one eye for near because that's going to split your eyes and brain and it's going to reduce your depth perception. Number two, if you're going to get LASIK surgery, I would recommend doing some eye exercises afterwards. Uh, the physical therapy eye exercises that I use are fantastic for helping a person integrate the new prescription in their eyes with their brain and body. And then number three, what I would recommend is that if you're gonna do LASIK surgery, that I would make sure that you're correcting your eyes so you're still a little nearsighted. And the reason why I recommend this is that if you are still a little nearsighted after the LASIK surgery, you're gonna be able to read without reading glasses. Because what happens is, is sometimes when you get LASIK surgery and you're not nearsighted anymore, you actually become farsighted, you lose your near vision and then you start needing magnification. And this is a real bummer for people because their near vision has been great their whole life and now they lose it after LASIK surgery. In my, in my opinion, I think that if you can work with your vision kind of as a whole body uh, process, I think you have a better chance of changing the prescription in your eyes and that you can sustain and hold the changes. With LASIK surgery, what I've seen is that people do well at the beginning, but after a while, the prescription starts creeping back into their eyes and they end up needing corrective lenses and that's how that goes. So that's my message for today. I hope that helps this, this gal in her decision making. Uh, I want to thank you for tuning in. And until next time, take good care.